Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without telling the full story. Yeah. Sometimes, indeed. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. Mm. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. Mm. This is not the story I hoped it would be. I bet. This is not the ending I wanted. What did you this want? This story hey? will eat us alive. This story is a monster. Mm. And monsters wear many faces. I'm glad you can't l look at something. Well, uh, you, you see the backside, but uh, let's try not to look that way. I don't even know who this person is. I'm trying to move slowly. Oh, now. Okay. Move forward. something. Let's work on... Hello? Okay. This way. Big old tree. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that spooked me. Probably could have done without it. Ooh, jeez, what the? Take long to spook me. Alright, it's a big old tree. Oh, 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? <coughs> just work stuff. Yeah. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No <coughs> spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you, too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Casey. Logan? I will. Bye, kiddo. <laughs> Saga? Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder Casey. where she gets that from. <laughs> Can't imagine. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. 
Feels like the killer is leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take the lead. Think of me as the backup. Backup. Okay. Sure. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. <clears throat> a deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. Mm. There's the car. So where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. All right. The invitation. Get to the crime scene and find the deputy. Memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Mm. Nightmare territory. You're the one who wanted to switch. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Possibly. There. There's the map. And we're over here. Looks like we might be going to the rental cabins first. Cool. Okay. Okay. Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Yeah. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton. <laughs> down okay. at the crime scene. Mm. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Uh. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? <laughs> Were there any witnesses? Yeah. A couple out-of-towners. Uh, I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I mentioned the city folk. They're pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Mm. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. Okay. Uh, we'll do... What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, but you know, inside. Inside. Where they belong. Okay. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the okay. old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's okay. been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. They got it, Thornton. Yeah. All right. Now we gotta meet Thornton at the general store. Okay. Let's go then. Thank you. Are they gone? These fucking out of towners. We can handle this ourselves if they just stay the hell out of it. All of them. Shut up, Thornton. They can still hear you. I'm just saying. You know I'm usually a calm person. Yoga three times a week. <laughs> Shut 
Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right, let's go then. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Okay. So, case board. The uh. mind place. My version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues okay. and note the case. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Oh, okay. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Okay. Pick worth them. taking another look. Yeah. Case board is meant to Okay. Victims. All victims reported missing in 2010. Or commonalities. Murder method. Slight different in murders. Loading only commonality in bodies, but not the cause of death. Just trauma. Exposure to water post-mortem. Okay. Uh, okay. Headline dentist stabbings, bloating, bruising on the wrist. Wendy Davis, teacher, body bloated, harsh chest wound. Percy Wolf, store owner, bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. Bruising on the wrist and legs. Hmm. Deep gash in the chest, heart missing. All bodies experienced bloating. What's up with this bloating though? Killer profile. Postmortem tattooing of the body. Murder targets have no discernible traits and chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. Hmm. Aldrin Lake murders. Okay. Cases. Okay. All right. I guess that's it. Or that. Then you got the map. Anything else? Don't look like it. It's quiet. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> oh. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Okay. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. I mean, that makes sense. It's like just because you go inside your head, nature mentally doesn't mean too much sky. Did actually look at the. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Hmm. Cauldron.
Cauldron Lake. Where a lot of stuff has gone down. Okay. I'm a coming. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked oh. cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Real funny, Anderson. <laughs> yeah, that. Oh, what's this? Right Paul's own virtual baking chain. A hike a day keep depression away. Eh. Mm. Okay. Alright. Okay, I'll set Cauldron Lake. This one, missing dope man. Oh. Coffee bean. <laughs> CB. Seems to be everything. Hmm. Oh, it's this way. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Oh, dead end. Go figure. Be on our way then. Hmm. No trace. Okay. Looks good though, by the way. Stairs are out. You okay yep. to jump down? I'm not that old. Alright. 
Let's go, Casey. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Ah. Visible wall without an invisible wall. Alright, alright. Fine. This is Mortar Falls. Hmm. Oh. See that. Is that a Kids lunchbox? So it was in. An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. <laughs> Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. Uh, he hates those cheesy crime books. But he really hates the movies. Oh. My dad used to say when you go and get stuff to tough, it's gone. Find it inspiring. <laughs> Maybe. Script fragments. Cool. That was the first reference to Max Payne, by the way. Oh, can they? Okay. Obviously, don't got enough, but yeah. <coughs> this way. That's for sure. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting yeah. back to nature is your thing. I suppose so. I like the rain. The only thing yeah. around here that feels like home. You yeah. think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. So, in other words, don't hold your breath. Oh. General sword that way. Which is hut to the right. Look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Okay. 
something in here. Hmm. Okay. Looking around the outside. Don't look like it. Hmm. got to be awful to you tell someone you like them and they just say something like thanks. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. A lunchbox again. Oh. Who's leaving these out here? Yeah. What's this one? Alan. Mm -mm. Just one. Okay. There was something here. Ammo? Batteries? Yeah, batteries, I think. Okay. And that's all that's over here. Yeah. Okie dokie. So, right there. Murder site. Okay. There's a shortcut, see, it seems. Yes. Okay. Casey. No, it's curious. Hmm. I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. Hmm. All right. Let's go. Here we are. Be Thornton. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Behind it. So, okay. FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. Okay. Hmm. 
So it will be locked. I can do anything. Okay. him on the table now he didn't touch nothing you know procedures and yeah stuff thanks deputy no tara you owe me a coffee okay sure. let's start by examining our guest of honor does this fit the mo of the previous murders yeah is it step one examine the corpse oh dear that's gonna be fun Start by inspecting the body, Anderson. Hmm. Oh dear. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Cake. I kind of been uh, <laughs> focusing on looking around. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't see you there. Investigate a murder victim before, except in the movies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've... I've seen bits of it, and I know there's no avoiding it, <laughs> but hope you're doing all right. Yeah, finally got around to this game, just need a bit of a break. Okay. Yeah, I was like, oh, Cake's here. I figured you would show up at some point in time, but yeah. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Okay. At the voice. Okay. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Yeah, since you know, YouTube's a bit. Mm, soft shall we say in that regard whereas twitch if it's i know twitch i think tos is like if it's required like you can't avoid it no matter what i think 
that's when they allow it, but you can't just go out look for it. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Prompt a new question. Okay. Cool. Triangle. Oh, yeah, which I've done a few times. Okay. It might. All right. Let's see, what's this? But yeah, I mean, ho hopefully, if I uh, don't linger on it, this sh might be okay. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Hmm. Okay. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Hmm. Consistent. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Okay, that's everything from. All right. So there. Okay. That and the heart. Sure. Ah. There. Heart removed from chest, mm. strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this yeah. time the heart and the straps were left behind. Mm. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Yeah. Killers. So open question unlock the deductions. Unlock updating your goals. So investigate crime scene, learn more about the victim and the killer. Okay. Possibly. Find evidence and Talk to someone. Okay. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Yeah. Need to find more clues. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name okay. is Nightingale. He was FBI. Night he came to oh. town about oh, Nightingale. years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, I remember Nightingale. Until now. Yeah. Nightingale. Yeah. Robert Nightingale? Oh. Yeah, same one. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. So he was Nightingale from the first game. May have been a while since I played a remaster, but I I remember the name Nightingale. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. Yeah. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Uh. Um. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Rumors? Depression led to booze. Booze led to paranoia. Mm. He got some wild ideas in his head. Chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Ah. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Yeah. Nightingale went missing 13 years mm. ago. 2010. The same yeah. as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Yeah. Makes me wonder I was what like, was going on Nightingale. Right I was like, wait a minute. Probably something that name. I was like, to forget. I was like, yeah, that's the... <laughs> the FBI agent that was... He was just... Absolute pain in the arse. Right, number two. Multiple people were here. Yeah. Multiple killers? Possibly. Mm, over here. Uh, oh. Was that a tripod? Yeah, that's a tripod. Someone left in a hurry. Knock the tripod over. Yeah. 
Was it for a camera? You would think. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Yeah. All right. Explored. Now we got. Where does ah? Here we go. Yeah, he was definitely not alone. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls mm -hmm. 13 years ago. Uh, yes. I absolutely love Control. I definitely re recommend it to my friends at work. Who, unfortunately, uh, most of them haven't played it, but yes. Uh, I did. I think I streamed it all. And that was back when I was... Before I had my computer, so... That was from through the console. Okay, it's for later. Cases. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Possibly. Another message. everything the that one can't do anything just yet but yeah uh, but yeah I absolutely uh, loved uh, how different control was control was basically what made me uh, turn me into a fan of remedy I mean I always did like the max Payne games and then playing control I was like oh hell yeah then they eventually came out with the remaster for Was he Alan Wake One. Brought here after for display. Brought, brought here. Dude was brought here. Try not to look that way. So. Uh, okay. So I guess that's everything. And I do know there are hints of the FBC in this game. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Pick the area. Oh. There's a door here. Locked. They okay. really don't want people coming in here. Yeah, it would seem that way. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, I, it was like on that fence, uh, when you meet the, uh, deputy at first, uh, 
plus I kind of seen it on the internet. But yeah, I seen like there's a sign, uh, something, something FBC. It's like, hmm, okay. Maybe this one. Okay. Huh. Stuff over here. Ooh. A creepy twig sculpture. Hmm. But yeah, I as uh, I was like, ooh. Did you do you remember the uh, Alan Wake uh, DLC thingy that they did in Control, where Langston mentions at the like very end that they received a AWE, but the location was Bright Falls, but it was the date was in the future. I had seen that. What's inside? I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Yeah. Use all these steps. Or shans? Oh yeah, I, I think that's going to happen without a doubt. Because you're seeing hints of the FBC in this game, so you would imagine. Uh, or shans. Take chicken out of the fridge and take a nap. So... I'll be back in a second. Roger. I guess in here. So wash hands. Three. Take the chicken out of the fridge. How do you take the chicken out of the fridge though? Okay. It's not the same. Because you can't do anything with that. Yeah, AEW. Yeah, I was like, because I think it was called AEW. E? Or like those kind of events? No, it, no, you're right. It was AEW. Sorry, it's been a while. Oh, what's this? Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind uh, me of a dream I had. Okay. Oh, it is in your mind palace. Oh. Plus, those triangles kind of remind me of control. Um, probably not. Not because they don't want to, but uh, if you didn't know, I had learned this after watching some stuff. Uh, so Remedy doesn't control the IP of Max Payne. Rockstar does, and so that's why they don't outright say Max Payne in... Uh, in the game, uh, both in Alan Wake 1 and like in this one, because they don't own the rights to Max Payne, so they can't, but they use an alternative name, Alex Casey, who is actually Max Payne. They just can't legally use his name. 